Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. One of my missions in 2023 is to show you guys how you can maximize the benefits of the products you already have. I feel sometimes we feel compelled to buy new skincare, try out new products in order to reach our skin goals, when, in truth, just switching a few things around, tweaking the way we utilize the existing products we have, can deliver all the benefit we actually need. Today we're focusing down on retinoids, and how, by making one little switch, you could actually double down on the benefits you'll see from whatever retinoid you choose for your anti-aging routine. Sit back, relax, let's start doubling the power of retinoids. Now before we get into this video, I would love to know what switches you've made in your own skincare routine this year. What changes have made the biggest impact when it came to your own skin? Because it's all about working that little bit smarter, not necessarily having to spend more money. If you want to see this become a firm feature here on the channel, when we'll talk about maximizing the benefit of other ingredients, let me know by reaching down and giving this video a big thumbs up and a like. This is honestly the best way of supporting me as a content creator, so from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Now, this little hack that I want to share with you for maximizing the benefit and the anti-aging gains you can get from your retinoid works universally. It really doesn't matter what retinoid you personally choose to go for. At the moment, I'm reaching for retinal, which is my preferred form. I covered in a recent video why I think it's a little bit superior than other over-the-counter retinol products. I'll leave a link to that up there if you do want to check it out. The two that I tend to alternate are these. This is the Medicaid Crystal Retinal, and this is the Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10. This one, so drugstore unaffordable, and honestly, is a wonderful dupe for the Medicaid Retinal 10. They kind of can be used interchangeably. But this hack involves getting in your hands on one of these, a Bacuchiol Moisturizer. Now, we are always told to finish our retinoid skincare routine with a thick layer of a moisturizer. This is actually really, really important because retinoids, vitamin A derivatives, have great anti-aging benefits, smoothing the skin, increasing cell turnover, boosting collagen and elastin production. But they can be quite drying and irritating on the skin at the same time. So a lot of people will do something called the retinoid sandwich method, which before you apply that retinoid, you put a thin layer of moisturizer on the skin, apply your retinoid, then top it off, complete the sandwich with another layer of that exact same moisturizer. This kind of locks in all the hydration and honestly, based on my own experience, gives you the very best results with minimum risk of side effects. But instead of reaching for any old moisturizer to sandwich between your retinoids, reach for one that contains Bacuchol. It's not about necessarily having another step in your skincare routine, but swapping out your existing moisturizer when it's used up for one that contains Bacuchol to get that extra benefit. In this section of the video, I'm going to talk about Bacuchol, what it is, and I explain how it can be beneficial. But if you already know all of that, you can use the timestamps in the description box below to skip to the next step of the video where I'm going to be sharing with you some of my Bacuchol moisturizer favorites. A little inspiration for your own skincare routine. So Bacuchol is a plant extract, which a lot of people in the skincare community refer to as a gentle alternative to retinoids. It kind of got this phrase because some studies done a while ago showed that if applied twice a day, Bacuchol could give you very similar outcomes in terms of anti-aging benefit as a mid-strength retinoid. It delivered all of those great benefits whilst also giving you significantly less redness, peeling, irritation and sensitivity. So a lot of people really grabbed onto these studies and said, okay, why use a retinoid and risk all of those side effects when you can reach for Bacuchol, get the same great outcomes with less irritation? In truth, while some studies do show it has a very similar mechanism of action to retinoids, I don't think the data is there to show it's actually more or equally as effective. So I still reach for a retinoid as a core component in my anti-aging skincare routine, but use Bacuchol to kind of boost the benefits I'm going to see. If you have a very sensitive skin type, and honestly your skin just cannot tolerate retinoids, no matter what, which one you go for, then absolutely incorporate Bacuchol in isolation, and I think this could give you some really great long-term results, with again, minimizing the risk of side effects. But for most of us, combining a retinoid with Bacuchol will double down on the benefits, not increase the side effects, and I think get you a little extra bang for your buck when it comes to anti-aging. Bacuchol is relatively inexpensive to formulate with, so a lot of the products contain and it don't cost the earth, they don't need to break the bank. And the reason I say to incorporate it in a moisturizer is that way you don't need to add another step to your skincare routine, you just switch out your existing moisturizer for a Bacuchol one in the evening when you're using your retinoid. That way you still get that great anti-aging benefit from your retinoid, but you're enhancing the power of that Bacuchol to get some additional wins around the margins. And I've definitely seen an improvement from combining these two together. You're not gonna see game-changing results on day one, but using that retinoid and Bacuchol combination in the long term, I do think it gives you an extra boost of anti-aging prowess versus just use your retinoid in isolation. And it's definitely worked for my skin, which is why I want to share it with you in today's video. 
Now, when it comes to choosing a Bakucho moisturizer, there are loads to choose from out there. So make sure you reach for one that's drugstore and affordable. Ideally, you would know the percentage of Bakucho. I look for something between a one and a two percent concentration, which I think will give you the very best results. Before we come on to my favorites, just one word of warning. Some retinoid products do already contain Bakucho as part of their formulation. If they do, great. You're already doing this wonderful hack using this powerful combination together. But just check the retinoid that you do reach for. Make sure that it doesn't contain Bakuchol before you go in with a Bakuchol moisturizer. You know, you can have too much of a good thing and you don't want to overload the skin. So that is the one thing I would caution. When it comes to my favorite Bakuchol moisturizers, this one is a new favorite that I'm testing out and loving. This is the Boots Collagen Youth Activating Night Cream. So this uses soluble collagen as a humectant to retain and lock in moisture in the skin, but has a 1% concentration of that key ingredient, Bakuchol, which I think will work beautifully with your retinoids. I covered why I think this product is so special in a recent video, which I'll leave a link to up there. Definitely one to check out. This sandwich between your retinoid, I think will give you one of the best experiences when it comes to instant plumping, long-term anti-aging benefit, and it's 10 pounds for a pot, which is 50 mil. So honestly, a little will go a long way. And this is definitely a drugstore and affordable option. Keeping with boots, just because it's my local drugstore and they have so many great formulations, a fraction of the cost of their bougie competitors. This is the Boots Ingredients Bakut treatment. A really lightweight moisturizer that I think if you've got a very oily or acne prone skin, this is probably the one that I'd reach for. This collagen cream is a little bit more on the rich side, so great if you've got a dryness prone skin type, this could be the moisturizer for you. But if like me, you've got a little bit more oily, acne prone skin, reaching for the Boots Ingredients Bakuchol treatment, I think will be so lightweight, yet still give you a nice level of hydration. You get that Bakuchol hit alongside your retinoid, but I just find it's a little bit more lightweight in terms of application. Doesn't sit as heavy on the skin. Finally, the Inculist Bakucho. Now, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of the Inculist, but what I think they do do well, they certainly do well, if that makes sense. And I really do like their Bakucho treatment. This, very similar to that Boots product, is very lightweight. You're not going to get a lot of heaviness to the skin for reaching for this, meaning it's perfect to sandwich between your retinoid in between. Two layers of this gives you maximum hydration. That gorgeous Bakucho hit, again, is super, super affordable. I think this is currently retailing for like £12. But the reason I wanted to call this out is that those Boots products that I've just referenced are available really easily here in the UK, Ireland, and the rest of Europe, but they might be a little tricky to get internationally. Fortunately, the Inculus Bakucho is available globally and worldwide, so if you did want to try this hack out on your own skin and in your own routine, the Inculus might just be that a little bit easier for you to get your hands on, and I've left links to all the products mentioned in the description box below. There are some other products containing Bakucho that I will leave in that description box too, so if you want a little bit more choice than the three I've already mentioned, those ones contained on that are also absolutely wonderful options. Definitely think about incorporating a Bakucho moisturizer alongside your retinoid. In the long term, you will definitely notice a little boost to your anti-aging prowess of your routine. Some people have even said it doubles the efficacy of your retinoid. I maybe wouldn't go that far. I definitely think you will see some marginal improvements and benefits. And it's not about adding an extra step to your routine. It's about swapping the existing moisturizer you already use for a Bakucho infused one in order to get maximum anti-aging benefit. It's all about working smarter, not necessarily having to have a longer skincare routine, just maximizing the benefit of the products you already use. I would love to know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions when it comes to this hack. So sound off in the comments section below, wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care. Bye.